I'm Jash Gembry-Stothart, and I'm one of the co-founders of Luna, the world's first AI-powered health app dedicated to teens. Luna is revolutionizing how teens navigate the complexities of adolescence through our digital health and wellbeing companion. This is 12-year-old me. I had low self-esteem. I didn't want to talk about puberty. I just wanted to be normal. Back then, there was little to no health and well-being information to help me throughout adolescence. In fact, I literally relied on magazines because schools didn't teach me this. However, today, the issue isn't a lack of information. It's actually misinformation overload. Today, teens are told that they can stop their periods with a shot of lime juice, tagine powder, and salt water. That they shed their skin every month on their period, and that they can lose a whopping eight pounds in three hours by drinking 32 ounces of salt water. Now, obviously, none of this is true. However, these are the latest health trends surfacing on social media, misleading millions of teenagers today. Unfortunately, schools haven't kept up with the pace of change, and parents, no matter how cool you think you are, there are just some things that teens don't want to ask you about. Their go-to places are the internet and social media. Today, more than 10% of girls say that they have a bad mental health day every single day. And over 60% of teen girls spend over four hours on their digital devices daily. This is the problem, and we're doing something about it. So enter Luna, an AI-powered health and well-being companion for teens to guide them through adolescence. Everybody goes through puberty, and we help them through it. We're a one-stop shop platform for girls and non-binary teens aged 11 to 18 years old, and we talk about things like mental health, periods, friendships, and more. So how does it work? Enter demo, please. On Luna, teens can access content. So articles, videos, and quizzes, all created by experts. They can also ask an anonymous question and get an expert-backed response. And we have worked with dermatologists, pediatricians, and medical experts to now answer over 50,000 questions that we've had in to date. And we're using this expert data to feed the AI models that are now helping us answer these questions. We've also got a super simple emotion and period tracker. And we're now able to play back health insights to teens and push them personalized recommendations based on how they're using the app. Now, we've also made it very easy for teens to send the link to parents, and we've built a parent layer on top of Luna to help parents manage their teens' subscriptions as well. And we're now building this out with parent content and community too. End the demo. Today, we've had over 100,000 downloads in 160 countries. And some Luna members have logged in every single day for the last two years, which is when we launched. And above this, in just four weeks, the number of teens reporting an improvement in their body image and their mental health has increased drastically. What we've done is the unthinkable. We've made puberty cool. We've created a brand. We've created a community. We've created a girlhood movement where teen girls finally feel empowered and excited to learn about their health. Now, there are 600 million teen girls out there globally, which more than doubles when you consider boys, preteens, and their parents too, making this a multi-billion dollar opportunity. And yes, while there are period apps out there and mental health apps out there, they're adult-centric, and they're not holistic in nature. Now, we're currently focused on selling premium memberships and forming paid partnerships with brands who want access to our engaged audience. And we actually ex just signed a very exciting one with a global sports brand. Now, there's a dual marketing strategy in play. 
Obviously, we've got to create a hype with uh, teenagers on platforms they're used to, but then also showing the value and the impact to parents too, meaning we're reaching both the members and the payers of the platform. The idea for Luna hatched out of the University of Oxford, where I met my incredible co-founder, Joe. And today, we have an amazing team of seven with backgrounds in consumer and health. We work with incredible medics in the field of medicine in the UK and have advisors who have exited and scaled businesses and adjacent markets. Now, there is just one major market that's left to unlock, and that is the USA. And let me tell you now, there is no shortage of demand from teenagers literally messaging me daily, telling me how much they want Luna to launch here. So we will be landing here next year, and I'd be interested in talking to anyone who can make an introduction to us or who'd be interested in learning more. We have got the data. We've got the community, and we are already changing the lives of teenage girls globally. Now, just imagine how much more we can do to combat the deepening well-being crisis that exists today. Everybody sitting here knows how much those formative years impact who we become as adults today. Everybody sitting here could have done with a platform like Luna. So let's not just let teens survive teenhood in this digital age. Let's help them thrive through it. Let's give them Luna. Thank you, Luna. Judges. Thank you so much. This is a very important topic, and I love the mission. Thank you. Can you elaborate a little bit more on the usage you're seeing and the longer-term engagement that you're seeing from the 100,000 downloads you've had so far? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. So um, teens, like Jazz said, are loving the platform. As you could see on the screenshot, um, we've got teens who've got logging streets for over 600 days. So we have many members who joined us two years ago that are still logging in every single day. Um, and that's due to the fact that we have gamified puberty, um, you know, with the logging streaks are on the tracker. Um, so yeah, we have over 100,000 downloads, but we have, um, I say, a monthly active user rate of anywhere between sort of 30 upwards of 50 percent depending on um, the month so for example next month coming up so November we have a well-being challenge which is launching we did one in February and our engagement throughout that month was insane so we're doing another one and that's what we now have a um, brand partner who's sponsored it for us can you just I'm um, building off of that tell us a little bit more about how they're engaging they come to the app and are they asking a question, or what's their primary driver in the app? Yeah, and it's really different depending on the teen. Obviously, I'm sure you can imagine, depending on their age and you know just where they are in their own adolescent journey. So one of the most popular features is definitely the Ask Luna section. So they will often find us online. They'll come in. They'll ask the question because they get the expert-backed response. That's the thing that's um, really popular when they first land on the app. But then we do else help them guide them through the rest of the app. So with your answer on Ask Luna, you will be pointed to resources within the content, so the articles, the videos that complement that answer. Um, so then we're sort of signposting them to the learn section, and then that's when they can see our whole bank of articles and videos. And it's not just a a stale bank of sort of articles and videos. We are constantly dropping new content every day. So we will spot trends on social media, on TikTok. As you saw from some of those videos, there are some horrendous trends on there. And we can intervene and spot these trends and actually turn around an article or a video in the same day and sort of debunk that misinformation. Can you talk a little bit about the team you've put together on the content front? Because it's such a critical part of it. How are you actually getting enough content out there? How are you ensuring it's accurate? How are you ensuring it's trustful? We'd love to hear about that. Yeah, well, we have um, two people who work on content um, at Luna, also on everything else that comes with running a startup. But they set the strategy, essentially. So, you know, finger on the pulse with trends, but also the foundational stuff through adolescence. And um, we work with a community of medics and experts. We basically, um, Freelance work with them. Our team will brief out what we need. It will then go through two layers of checks, and then it goes back on the platform. Um, yeah, and like Joe said, we are putting content out daily. This isn't just a 
library that stays there. Finger on the pulse. It's really important for this community. So Thanks. that's it. I wanted to ask more about the parent features. I'm a parent. And so I'm curious um, how much visibility you provide to the parents. If the, uh, the parent can control the child's subscription, yeah. but can the parents see the types of questions the child's been asking? Or yeah. um, I, I'd love to learn more. So in short, no, the parent can't see the questions that the child is asking, and that's very simply because we want to build trust with this audience. It's anonymous for that reason, so they feel empowered and that they feel that they can ask those questions, which can sometimes be a bit awkward or a bit embarrassing, and you don't want your assy mum. But what we found with speaking to parents, as we've obviously done lots more and more interviews with them, is that actually you know, they, they don't want to know the specific questions, but actually having insights into, you know, they can manage the subscription and say, I, my daughter's 13 years old. Actually, what we can provide is aggregate level. What are 13, 14 year olds on the platform asking about? What are they thinking about? And we can provide that back to them through the parent app. Um, in a way that is not intrusive to their own child, but on an aggregate level. So then that can help them maybe with conversation starters, but also just helps busy parents. We know how par busy parents are. Keep abreast of, like we said, some of these quite dangerous trends that we're seeing. So the main use case for the platform is to get answers to health related uh, issues, right? And can you talk about in what ways is it better than like your next competitor? So like the users that right now use Luna, if they weren't using Luna, what were they gonna use? Like is it ChatGPT? And like in what, what cases are you guys better and what cases are you guys worse? Yeah, so I think um, that's just one use case, the answering of questions. I think the reading of questions and seeing what other people are asking, that community feel, is so important for a team to know they're normal. But as Joe mentioned, the tracking feature as well, understanding your cycle, your moods and emotions, that's also a real key use case as well. And in terms of how that differentiates us from other players, so other players aren't holistic in nature. Um, other players, mental health specific or period specifically, we've co-created Luna with teenagers, as you can see, and they've told us it's not just that that's worrying us, it's everything to do with adolescents. And so we are holistic and that's what makes us different. In terms of chat GPT, that doesn't have the community element on there. And that's what makes Luna so special to know like you are normal or you know you are okay and you're not the only one thinking this. And that for us is what one of our core USBs is. All right, give it up. <laughs> sorry, we're out of time. But give it up for Luna. Yeah.